I get a lot of comments on the channel from people saying I need a decent workbench so um, today I'm going to make one out of these redwood slabs. They came from a tree that needed to be felled because the, the roots were getting into a septic tank. My payment for the job was to keep the timber so I milled it up and it's been sitting here for just over a year so it's nice and dry. So I'll get one of these good wide ones out and uh, see what it looks like. First of all I'll tidy up these edges, so I've just measured in the distance from the edge of the uh, guide rail to the blade, so it'll cut right along there somewhere. Okay, so I'll cut this piece into two, and that'll be my legs. I have to square up this end a bit. Because this edge is perfectly straight, I'll just use the set square, and I know this cut will be 90 degrees to that edge. Now I won't be able to cut that perfectly straight freehand, so I'll just put a bit of wood in there. Measure back from the edge to where the blade will be, and then I'll get a nice straight cut. Both edges line up there, that's a perfect 90 degree angle, so that's one leg, I'll just mark out the other one.
So I'll just plant some timber preservative on the feet there and that should stop any rot creeping up from the bottom. I've got this old piece of plastic barrel that I'll just cut into strips and um, screw on the bottom of the feet and that should stop any moisture rising. The beauty of these vices is you can really hammer on them. All that force is uh, transferred to the ground so I'll have to make sure there's a solid footing under there whenever I hammer on it. Ideally it should be sitting on a concrete pad then there's no bouncing and absorption of the force but uh, that'll do for now. They were having a clearing sale and uh, the old fellow who owned it had died so they were getting rid of a bit of stuff and uh, managed to get it for 60 bucks. Bargain I think. It looks like something that came out of the middle of last century maybe. I don't know, someone might know something about it. JB or J8, 6LV8. It's a really heavy vice, it must be getting on to 60 kilos. It seems nice and tight as well for the age of it. It's like it closes all nice and evenly. Alright, I've just got some linseed oil here. So I'll plaster that on and that should protect it a bit from the weather and I'll stop it cracking. So it's just linseed oil and turps, mineral turpentine. And you can see that's really soaking in. That should make it last a wee bit longer. It really brings out the colour, doesn't it? It's the thirsty wood, it took two litres of linseed oil. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> 